Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this video, so I am going to explain how to store information inside the object in JavaScript. See, here it is whenever we are implementing the data structure and algorithms using stack and queue. So, generally ob JavaScript is an object oriented programming language. So, information we are storing inside the object only so that that will become protected. But how to store information inside the object? So, one important thing is what constructor? We use constructor. As we know that in the in the previous videos we already discussed that whenever we are creating the object constructor executes automatically. But sir, what is the main purpose of constructor? Why constructor is calling automatically means what? Just to store information, information inside the object. How to store? Means there is a keyword called this. It is a predefined keyword. It is pointing to current object with the variable nothing but with the predefined keyword this only we can store the information inside the object in the current object. Because object information is a different from object to object. Different objects stores different set of values. How can we store different set of values means what through constructor only while creating the object. So, I will show you how to create object and all. Here is we are taking one file. So, first we are saving. We are saving on my desktop. Desktop. And here it is just like a demo dot js, it is a javascript file, it is a javascript file. We are saving on my desktop, desktop here, here after that we are writing the code, we are writing the code, we are just writing the class, so any class name, suppose class name is a demo, class name is demo and we are writing the constructor. And of course, is a case sense to constructor. And we are just writing one, one simple message like on the console I just want to display that console object dot log method and whatever the message you want to display here you can display. In the previous example we have seen object created. So, how to create object? How to create object is just a reference variable equal to new with the help of new keyword and followed by we have to call the constructor. Of course, directly we, we are not calling the constructor here using class name, using class name. Whenever we use the class name, the constructor will call in the process of object creation. This is. Now, we are executing, as we know that we are executing from the console, executing from the console through node interpreter. Here we saved on the desktop. So, we move to the desktop location node and here it is a demo dot js, demo dot js and here, here it is an error called console, sorry, console dot log. So, that is where it is showing that error, that object is not defined. When we run this one, demo.js and it is showing that message is a object created. So, at the time of object creation, at the time of object creation automatically the constructor is executing. So, here it is object will be stored like this, at some location object will be created. Generally, we are representing objects in all programming languages using like circles only object. At some location is like address that address will be stored. Here it is, here it is address will be stored at some location. That address we are collecting into a reference variable called obj. Now, inside this object I want to store the information. How can we store information? Here I just want to create one variable, so any variable suppose a and with some value suppose 10. Like this we are storing the values. Here here how can we store the data? Inside the constructor we are using the variable called this dot a and here it is a value is a 10. 
it will go and store inside the object. Sir, how can we access the information? How can we access from outside? It is like a console dot log. Console dot log, we are displaying that x value, I mean we are displaying that a value. How to display object address dot a? This is how we are accessing. Here we are creating object, memory will be allocated, memory and inside at some location address will be created, address is something like 2048 and here it is a in the constructor whenever we use this means what it is pointing to this object. So, that a variable will go and store inside the object with the value is a 10 and that address will be stored into this reference variable obj. So, obj is pointing to this 2048, it is just a variable and it is holding the address. And now here whenever we are calling obj dot a, here it is pointing to this one obj dot a means what whatever the value which is present inside the object will be displayed. This is how we are storing the data. So, when we run this code when we run this code here, it is giving that output is a 10, the value 10 it is giving, this is how to store the information. Hope you understood, for more videos please subscribe to Narishad channel, thank you.